Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys my follow-up on iOS 13.5 Developer Beta 3. Now just as a quick side note, Beta 2 for 13.5 is out for public beta testers as well. Now in this video I want to give you guys my follow-up thoughts on the software after using it for several days. There's some good news and there's also things that still need to be addressed. So let's start with the things that still need to be addressed. And number one, my number one concern has been Bluetooth over the past several updates because I've been sending AirPlay audio over a third-party speaker, the JBL PartyBox 300 and other external speakers and the volume would just not sync properly. It would just go up and down randomly. I've spoken about this several times. It continues to be a an issue on 13.5 developer beta 3 and 13.4 and 13.3 all 13 have had issue with uh, the bluetooth on the iphone now there's also issues with the hotspot you're not alone if your hotspot disconnects randomly from other devices i've had this issue as well the uh, text bug for text messages is still present apple has not fixed this yet on 13.5 and the vpn issues uh, uh, vulnerabilities are actually still present on 13.5 as well now there's a few new features that apple added now if you haven't watched my coverage links will be in the description down below but one of the main features is the covid 19 exposure notification system of course this opens up apis for developers and uh, apple uh, one of the biggest features for this software is that and number two is the mask detection for face id device so if you have a mask on and you're trying to unlock your face ID device, it would actually just prompt you to enter the passcode because it recognizes that you have a mask on and it won't recognize your face. So it just asks to enter the passcode rather quickly. I have an entire video devoted to that. Links will be in the description. And number three for FaceTime calls, group FaceTime calls. So if you make a group FaceTime call, the main card of the person that's speaking would actually get larger. Now you have an option to disable this. And this is great because when you were in a group FaceTime call, this would actually get kind of messy, right? Because everyone talks back and forth. The tiles would just not know what to do. They would get larger and smaller, and it was just a mess. Aside from that, some of the good news on 13.5 is that battery has been incredible. Battery has been very, very good on the latest iOS 13.5. I'm still testing iPhone 7 and other devices that had issues before, but right now, battery seems to be going in the right direction. Let's hope that Apple continues on this trend. The battery on the iPhone has struggled for quite some time, ever since iOS 13 was released. So that's just my quick update. Battery has improved. All the latest features are working really well. And uh, we're hoping for Apple to still address a few other features and changes before the official release. Keep in mind, we're still waiting on 13.4.2 as well before the official release of 13.5, which I'm expecting it to be uh, by mid-May or so. So thank you for watching. Just a quick follow-up. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you real soon. Peace.